Well, temperatures are about to get very cold out there, and snow is on the way. As we take a live look over downtown Spokane, you can see the sun has set. We're seeing some fog moving in, and pretty soon we are going to be seeing that snow moving in as well. Right now, we are seeing some cloudy conditions. Temperatures 34 degrees, winds out of the south, southeast, three miles per hour, but those are going to be picking up as uh, more cold air moves into the Spokane area. Coeur d'Alene, they're already getting some of those cool temperatures, 27 degrees. We are seeing snow falling. Falling in Coeur d'Alene, winds breezy there out of the north northeast, 21 miles per hour, and that is what is on its way right now to the Spokane area. Our almanac today, we saw 35 degrees for our high, our low 33 temperatures for our high, right around our average. So far, we have seen six hundredths of an inch of precipitation falling at the airport, but tonight that snow is going to be hitting a little bit later. We have an overnight low of 15 degrees. It is going to be very cool out there, and when those gustier winds hit, it is going to be breezy. Winds out of the the northeast 5 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow there is a chance of snow showers, but that will mainly be into the Idaho Panhandle and then just east of the Cascades. Most of central and eastern Washington not going to be experiencing those snow showers. Our high tomorrow 23 degrees, very cool out there and breezy again. Winds out of the northeast 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Taking a look at our snow forecast, what we can expect over the next 24 hours, you can see that snow picking up. Up, especially into the Idaho Panhandle, and we have some updated numbers. Spokane not going to be getting quite as much snow as we thought. Zero to one inches is what we're expecting. Coeur d'Alene sitting at two to four inches, two to three inches in Sandpoint, and two inches in Bonners Ferry. Up near Colville, just a bit more, one to two inches there. And down in Pullman and Moscow, one to two inches of snow expected there as well. We are going to be seeing that moving in very shortly here, and that snow going to be with us for a little while. You can see 12 a.m. We're still seeing a few showers into the Spokane area. The LC Valley getting a bit of rain mixed in there as well. And then, of course, the Idaho Panhandle still experiencing that as we head overnight. That activity dies down in Spokane around 9 a.m. Just a chance of some showers in the Spokane area, but most of the precipitation sticking into the Idaho Panhandle. And then tomorrow through the day, we will dry out quickly for a couple of dry days up ahead. We do have a winter weather advisory, though, in effect until 9 a.m. One to three inches of snow is possible for this purple area with some gustier winds up north and then a winter storm morning until 1 a.m. on Tuesday. That is for the area in pink. Three to six inches of snow possible and more in the mountains. So tonight we do have a three on our impact scale. Snow accumulations, breezy conditions, frigid cold and icy and snowy roads. 17 for the low tonight. 16 in Coeur d'Alene. 24 for the high tomorrow in the valley. 23 in Coeur d'Alene. And then temperatures staying cool with lows in the single digits or teens. Snow returns for the weekend.